Here's how you can make your first thousand dollars with ChatGPT. For me, I'm a Notion consultant. I have a almost a small video content agency because apps reach out to me and want me to be the face of their application, i.e. Morgan, there's other apps like Testimonial, and there could even be more apps in the work. And in order for me to figure out what was the best way to go about delivering on some of the promises that I could have for these different businesses, unlike any other time in history, you can just sit down and talk to a chatbot that'll tell you a pretty tangible plan. So first and foremost, say you have a skill, right? Let's go into ChatGPT. And first of all, we can sit down and ask it the tangible question. What are the different ways I can make money using my skills in, and then for example, I'm going to type notion and then it'll spit out a bunch of different ways that you can make money doing that thing. And all of these different things are pretty much what I have done before in notion. So then I would think to myself, secondly, which of these would I want to do? Okay, so if we were to do templates or content creation, this could be sort of in line with what I wanna do, but I look at content creation and I think, yeah, I mean, in general, I just would like to make more content. Now, what if, for example, it then sparked me to think about, well, I don't know if I necessarily wanna make content around Notion. I kinda of wanna make content around, well, how to make money online. I could then ask ChatGPT, what are some different business models for making money online by creating content as a service for companies. Because essentially what I'm trying to do here is show you that this tool can give you a bunch of different ideas for content creation services, all these different services that exist out there. And you can then leverage this as an extra employee and mix it in with something I'll mention at the end that will increase the leverage on your time significantly. So there's several business models for making money online by creating content as a service for companies. Here are some of the most common ones. Content creation services, content marketing service, distribution, optimization, audit, and training. Okay, now what really fits in here mostly is content creation services. So I wanna offer content creation services as a product to people to you know, buy as a service. But which specifically am I most interested in? Am I most interested in email marketing? Am I most interested in Twitter? Am I most interested in YouTube? For me, I'm a big YouTube guy, but say you're somebody who is enamored with Twitter. You could then say, okay, write me an unbeatable offer for content marketing services that is niche down into lead generating Twitter content. And then it will write out the unbeatable offer. And it'll even give you some ideas of what pricing makes sense. Only $9.99, regularly $1,500, 30 minute consultation call to get started. All right. Now, what then you can do is go further with this. All right, you figured out, you wanna make content, you wanna make it on Twitter. We can then say, what are the different ways I can attain new leads for clients for this unbeatable Twitter offer? And then once you ask essentially, how can I get leads for it? You then tell it to give you exactly what you can do from a tangible standpoint. Cause it's gonna give you a list of like, okay, run Twitter ads, reach out to Twitter influencers, go to Twitter chats, Twitter contests and giveaways. Now I know some other examples of things like cold DM outreach, cold email marketing, right? And we can say, write me. And then we do like three trifecta things, a cold DM marketing campaign for this unbeatable Twitter offer. And then after that, you can say, give me a cold email. And then after that, you can say, write me landing page copy, write me a sales script. And you do this for whatever service that you want to build out. And what I would definitely recommend you do after each of these steps is make this much more personable, funny, and quippy, just so that it seems like it's a little bit more of a person talking. Look at this, I saw on your Twitter profile, notice that it could use a little love. Your tweets are looking like a lonely little picture. Now you can also tell it to say, hey, make it less corny and you can tweak this. But the whole point is you ask it how to make a business plan essentially for what you wanna get into business to, and then you act on it. And the best part is if you use the last step in my process, it's gonna do even better than that. Because in step three, what you can do is you can say, how can I automate as much as possible of the workflows for this, for the 
cold outreach and for the actual content creation of the Twitter ghostwriting business. Now, obviously this can be done with make.com and Zapier, but what this is gonna help you do is give you some ideas for sales automation tools that you can use, give you some ideas for different ways you can send out mass cold messages and give you tangible ways on how to automate some of the processes of creating content. And then lastly, what you're gonna do is ask ChatGPT, what are the best and cheapest ways of outsourcing team members to do the work for this company. So this ends up answering the question of scalability. Like you hire somebody from onlinejobs.ph who's a virtual assistant who helps you with a lot of the baseline workflows in here for minimal dollars, or you can even go through Upwork and Freelancer. And last but not least, you can ask ChatGPT tangible ways to vet out whether they're going to be good employees or not. A lot of us are not very good at like knowing how to onboard the employees. And if you tell them this is what you want, maybe there's some disconnect as to how to get the actual right people in place. So then you can say, okay, ChatGPT, what are the best ways for me to properly determine whether these possible employees will be right for the job? Give me a simple and effective, but tangible framework. And the reason that I'm going so base principles on this is that a lot of people just don't understand that you can have one thought and it could give you the majority of the business plan by asking like 10 prompts in a row. And then after each step of the process, you then ask it to dive deeper. So rather than just being like, okay, I got to write a job description, then try to write it yourself. Say, okay, ChatGPT, in the context of this conversation, let's keep this going. Write me a job description for a virtual assistant for this Twitter ghostwriting business. And then after that, you'd say, write me interview questions. And then after that, you'd say, make me a skills test. And then after that, say, how many references should I check? This is how simple it can be. You don't need to do all the thinking that you did before. You don't need to do all the writing you did before. It's essentially about curating the information that you're getting from the internet, from people who have done the business before, and then tangibly building things out and curating it even more with ChatGPT. This is how I've made money through Notion Consulting, through content marketing services, through making a YouTube channel, through having a newsletter that has members now. It's insane what you can do with such a simple tool. And this is why when I pay $20 a month for it, I am not upset whatsoever. Just like I'm not upset that you checked out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.